United States are perfect in 2023. They've played six, they've won six, they've scored 16 goals and conceded just one. And now in the blue, they kick off. And Sophia Smith will take the corner from the far side. <laughs> Smith's ball in towards Becky Sauerbrunn, who gets the head towards goal, it's off the bar. So close to the magical moment. What is the celebration when you score in St. Louis and on their first corner kick? She was free. Oh, Brosnan gets a little touch of it. Australia winning at England today by two goals to nil. They needed that result, result Australia. Denise O'Sullivan's ball forward up here towards Carusa. She'll turn the ball into the path of Katie McCabe, who will carry this one forward. And McCabe drives it low. Straight to the airport. What a chance for her. <laughs> Sophia Smith with that ball in towards the back post. Haran got a touch to it. Now it comes for Becky Sauerbrunn at the back post. And driven in from a long way out there. Just wide. Shiva, Penn State, FSU, Payne and Connolly. The Cape's ball into the middle. And a touch to it there. Over the bar it goes after Caruso got onto the end of it. And Murphy has to palm it over for a corner. And then Alyssa Thompson laying the ball back for Sophia Smith, who put it over the bar. This one's taken short, worked well between Smith and Sanchez initially, but then Ireland able to get it away. Back in from Cook, will it go all the way? The breakthrough comes two minutes before half-time. She probably didn't think it would come quite like this. Yeah, Brosnan thinking, I'm just going to come out and box this, and then gets caught too high. Cook gets a hold of it and keeps going, and Brosnan knows, oh, dear, I got to backpedal, backpedal, retreat, doesn't get a hold of it. Really way too high for the positioning in that moment. But that's one that Courtney Brosnan will not want to see again. As the halftime whistle goes, the United States have the lead. Trinity Rodman and Casey Kruger, the other players brought on at halftime by Vlatko and Danofsky. So a big moment for Casey Kruger here, the 32-year-old from Naperville, Illinois. Awfully familiar to that first half play. Rodman with a lovely flick through. And Sanchez playing the ball into the middle. Alyssa Thompson trying to get there. She does. Alyssa Thompson denied by Brosnan, who got out well. A decent run of opposition for the U.S. in this year. And here is that last look. Excellent ball in. By O'Gorman. In the end, it's a U.S. throw on the far side, which Huerta will look to take quickly into the box for Hatch. Hatch turning well, looks at the top corner. Only finding the roof of the net. Then they will play on the 9th of July in a send-off game in San Jose against Wales. Here's Denise O'Sullivan carrying the ball forward, rolling it in here for Carusa, and Carusa drives it in. Not troubling Murphy though. Way off target in the end from Kira Carusa. Katie McCabe will take it. The left foot delivery is too low, and it'll come back out though for McCabe to send this one in once again. Hurts at the back post tried to get ahead onto it, and it was headed over by Quinn. Sanchez forward towards Hatch, it's headed out of play. And it's full time in St. Louis. It's a 1-0 win for the US against Ireland and the match winner on her birthday.